Mario, you gonna be okay? Mario? Mario! I think he's having a panic attack. Hello everybody, my name is Perry Scooter, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. Now, last time we got, we've learned the secret of Hungry Lumas. And today, we're actually gonna, actually, first thing we're gonna do here is learn of my playstyle when it comes to games like this where you have collectathons, quote unquote. Now, oh, sorry, I'm hitting something while taking care of something on the side. Now, a lot of times when I play games like this that have collect collecting abilities, I tend to actually just go straight. I actually just tend to go as get and get. Uh, excuse me. I tend to go and get as many stars as I can in a single run, as. Um, basically, basically appease my OCD to an extent before I will go to a new stage. I'm going to keep up with that tradition. That's how I usually play games. If you guys want me to vary it up a little bit, I have no problem doing that. But I'm just telling you, that's how I usually play it. It's I just I just kind of have an OCD of sort of I must complete everything that is available before I move on to the next thing. I do that with every every game. Like every game ever, that's how I play it. It's it's maddening to some people. I I can underst I understand. Anyway, King Kaliati's battle fleet. Let's see if I can't get some star by starting on here. Now, ah yes. Now remember that orange pipe, kind of from episode two. Well, that orange pipe is now going to come into play. Now I'm going to try something here that I have not tried yet, and I'm going for star bits, that's why I'm bumbling about this bush, but... Anyway. Oh, hello. Everything good on me? There we go. Now that orange pipe is actually positioned right over here. On the underside. There it is. There's the orange pipe. It leads right up to the top of the house, but... Again, tactic for speedrunners. If you want to come up to this half the planet... Oh, I didn't even notice this when I first like three first two episodes. Go me, go team me. Anyway, if you time it right, what you can do is you can one or one, two, three, spin, and you're up. One way or the other. And what's this say? Okay, it's basically a it's basically a quit stage option right away. Which, I guess you could do, but whatever. And we've landed. Now, usually when there's sand like this, one of those bag enemies from the last episode will be here. Coconut battle! I, I can't do it, but what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to smack these coconuts into, uh... Into these spiky things. Which I'm missing horribly. Ah yes, water. We'll be actually exploring the water physics of this game later on. Oh, hello. Uh, let's see here. Now what do you have to say, sir? Secret about this place. Apparently those spiky things just hate coconuts. Okay. I like how we can talk in pictures in the Mario Kingdom. Alright. Uh, what if I just kick him into him? Because I'm kind of a bad shot. Or what if I hit the big one? The one that's kind of a prime target. Anyway. Line up the shot. Aim. Fire! Set fire! I'm good at this. I'm good at this game, I swear. Now, like I was saying before, there should be another bag enemy around here somewhere that has a lot of star bits within it. I hear a lot of stomping. That doesn't fill me with hope. Oh, hi, Pokey. What's up, buddy? You know, your head is just the right size to be hit with that. Okay. And taken care of. Ah, you were hiding a sling star. Pokey, you should know better. No supper for you, Pokey. Oh, wow. Did I hit it? Huh. That's actually kind of hard to do. I'm proud of myself this day. I hit I hit a small object. 
And we're just going to take it the direct down. Now we're on a rock formation. Ah. Playing this game. Playing this game just makes puts a smile on my face because it's... It was something really in, in, uh, really unique back in the day. Ow, ow, okay, well, that hurts slightly. Plumber down. <laughs> Red plumber down. Hey, anyway, bullet bills. I don't think bullet bills can really be hurt in this game. Correct me if I'm wrong. I th you probably can jump on them like most Mario games, but I don't think bullet bills can be hurt. Like I said, I could be incredibly wrong. Because I have not done my research on this game whatsoever. Man, I'm noticing I'm just kind of like lulling through the game. I'm not even really like playing super hardcore, quote unquote. Oh, these guys. These guys are fun. Smack their coconuts. The power of anti gravity will hit them in the head. And you win. And just because I'm a good Samaritan. Come free. Now that little trick there I did, a wall jump and then a spin jump, that can actually, that, that little quote unquote trick can be, can be used so much to get to places you probably shouldn't be. Oh god, I died! <laughs> Go me! Wow, I'm up to 15 lives already, that's actually pretty awesome. Anyway, if ever you die, you'll basically, you basically checkpoint back to the last place you landed after using a sling star. Two for the price of one! Anyway, I was about to actually talk about camera controls, because sometimes you need camera controls. We can't use them right now. Basically, the D-pad um, will allow you to move the camera around as you need it to in certain areas. So, if things aren't quite, if things aren't quite lining up for you, just use the D-pad and switch around the camera. Anyway, to the skies, Mario. Or to the space, I should say. I missed some star bits. Anyway, this guy will explain it again, but basically, like I said before, hit certain things with a star bit, get a coin, recover your life. So it's a star bit for life. Hello! Hmm. King Caliente, I presume. Oh god. Now, King Caliente, was, his uh, tactic was actually explained a little bit earlier, so to say, when we fought those um, octopus things. Basically, you just need to smack the coconut back in his face. That's all you need to do. And now he made him angry. It's a real simple boss fight. It's a real simple boss fight, but it's a fun boss fight. Not hard in the slightest. Oh, King Caliente. You, sh you showed such promise, and then you burned. In your own lava pool. You stupid, stupid... Yeah, I almost call it a catfish. Anyway, let's go ahead and collect our well-earned Power Star. Now, I think, actually, for a little while, we're done getting Power Stars here. I'll, I'll double-check just to make sure, but... And actually, there's a way on the uh, main galaxy viewing screen to see if you are done with the galaxy, so. Ah, uh, plenty of starbits. Delicious starbits. Always save the always save your game. Now, let's see here. Do we have any more galaxies in here to see? Nope, looks like for now we are done with the good egg galaxy. We'll have to come back to it at a later point, but we're done with it for now. Let's open up a new galaxy. It's unknown. Yeah. All the galaxies will just appear as unknowns for now. Ah, the Honey Hive Galaxy. Actually, before I go in there, I'm going to head outside to see if something's available yet. Uh, nope. It looks like what I'm after is not available for a while yet. Never mind. Anyway, we're going galaxy hunting. To the Honey Hive Galaxy, I say. And I think... 
Yep, this is where we're going to get into one of the two new... Three? Two? I forget how many abilities are in Super Mario Galaxy 1. I think it's just two, but... We're not going to explore the new power-up that was introduced in this game, which is... Which really only has made its place in the Super Mario Galaxy games and nowhere else. Hello! You know, now that I can actually see your face... You are glaring at me, and you have a creepy-ass smile on. Not a fan of it, sir. Anyway, more starbits for my for my to crave to uh to silence me. God damn it! I was about to say something interesting and unique, but then I screwed up the words. Well, that all happened. That <laughs> that comedy of errors came about. Ah. All right, fine. I won't. I won't hit that block. Come here, bug. Now these bugs—they're rather interesting. Dang it. Um. Actually, I'm gonna do something here really quick because I know there is something out here. An M made of starbits. Who would have seen it coming? Excuse me, sir. I need a coin from you just so I don't die of stupidity. Now I'm gonna try hitting that rock again. Rock, 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 rock. Anyway, those bug, those bug enemies there that I fought, you notice that was running away from me. Well, if I ride the walrus, okay, ah, I can't get that coin, oh well. These bug enemies, right now they're afraid of me, but if I come, hello, that's our queen's castle. Oh, I, I, I highly doubt that's your queen's castle. Anyway, once I grab this... Turn into a bee Mario! Basically, we get a little fly mechanic now. And anytime you touch water, you will lose your flying. You will lose your bee suit. Anyway, now that we're a bee, these guys actually think they're hot stuff. But I think I'm hotter. <laughs> anyway. Bee Mario... Kind of a weird power-up, but I guess it's kind of welcome. In a sense. Also, when you spin enemies... Oh, I lost it. When you spin enemies with, with B Mario, he'll, um, he'll actually have honey around his hands rather than just the normal blue sparkle. Anyway, down I go. Whee! It's a slide! Dan, dan, dan. Okay, no. No, su no, secret, no secret slide. Also, another mechanic of B-Mario is anytime you're on these flowers... Well, as B-Mario, you can walk on these flowers as much as you wish. When you're regular Mario, not so much. You kind of just break the flower. Honey is heavy. Then why are you carrying it? Says, I do not appreciate your business. Oh god, I... <laughs> Freaked out there for a second, I thought I was gonna die. And we're off to the bee planet. A planet full of bees. A planet full of bees. Ah yes, these pink uh these pink guys. Ah dang it. Those pink guys actually will shoot at you rather than uh let you just uh, rather than try and headbutt you. And these things! Like the vines just spin constantly. And there's an example of not having the bee power up. Bad. No soup for you. Anyway, I need to... Ah, there's one. There we go. Alright, and up we go! Now that we're actually a bee, I can get up here. And like I said before, touch water, lose your bee power up. Or le lose your bee suit, so to say. So keep that in mind while going through the, these next few areas because there's a good chance you'll lose it due to water. Ah, yes, and then the other thing that the beast suit can do. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Well, we'll get into what the other thing the beast suit can do in just a second here. I actually need to... Oh, no, no, no. Please, please up, please up, please up, please up, please. Failed. <laughs> Spatial awareness. I have it. 
Anyway, well now we actually have to go this way to move forward. Whee! Spinning! Anyway. The other thing the bee suit can do is what we'll find out here shortly. Oh yeah, collect coins while flying to refill your fly gauge, I guess. I guess if you're having problems. We can cling to walls! And now gravity is a is a fickle mistress. You have to be careful when, when actually doing this, because sometimes you can trick it out and you'll start... And instead of flying along the surface of the... Excuse me, surface of the wall, you'll actually start flying uh, up and down. Anyway. Very simple task. <laughs> Hello, Miss B. I couldn't... There was such a chance for them to make a bee pun there, and they just kind of let it slide. Please find the source of your itchiness, huh? I can do so. Just let me come over here. Basically, she has star bits. She has star bits all over her body. You know, it's a good thing she looks as much as like a bee as she does. This could be taken so wrong, so fast. Anyway, solve the itchiness problem. Sure, you can rely on me. I want off. I don't want to be on this planet anymore. Instead of going over to this planet. This planet above me. Anyway. Gathering star bits, cause I need them all. Okay, now I'll leave. I'm leaving! Okay, nothing here. Hello. A bee? Yeah, let's not make that joke. <laughs> oh, you're with Luigi. Thank you for the Power Star Toad. We actually do need that quite, quite much so, yes. English speak it, yeah, 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 English. I speak English very well, trust me. Anyway, and that is our that is our power star from the Beehive Galaxy, and that will also be the end of today's episode. Oh, hang on, we might have a little bit of a story coming up here. Because we know how much you love story time. A new galaxy has been discovered. Fantastic! No. Ah, okay, so we're just talking about the Toad Brigade. No. So the Toad Brigade is over in the garage area. So they have something interesting to tell us, but we'll actually have to wait until next time to find out what that something is. Everyone? I do want to thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. I hope that you'll join me next time when we'll, when we'll go to new galaxies and see what the Toad Brigade has, has for questions and whatnot. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you then.